Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy One Gun here, and today we're going to talk about uh, fixing your character when it has a poke through problem. Um, I had made this character uh, a day or so ago inside of uh, Dash 3D, and Dash 3D 3D characters are notorious for poke through. I mean, there you can't get no you can't get no worse poke through than from Dash characters. So, um, I don't know what it is, but uh, so I got her in this little kung fu, I like kung fu or martial arts pose, and when she's gonna jump off of here and on the ground, and as you can see, as you can see, her uh, knees poking through here, and it's poking through down there. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go over here to her texture channel and get the get the material picker and find out where the little hole is and we'll click on top of that hole well I got the cloth I have to get a little closer I will click on top of this little area here and I get her legs and now what I have to do is uh, since she has no opacity channel for her legs I'm gonna go and open her diffuse uh, her diffuse uh, channel up in in uh, Photoshop by clicking on the lunch the lunch uh, button right here. Cancel and what you want to do is since I've already done it, but I'll take you through it again. I'm just gonna take over here and click, 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 and delete. So when you come into uh, when you come into uh, let me go ahead go ahead and do this one too. Alright. Oops. Okay, so when you come over here in Photoshop, you have your background layer right here. And what you want to do with your background layer is make sure it's highlighted in blue, slide it down to the uh, to the little layer symbol right here, and it'll make a it'll make a copy of the background. So if I pull this out and pull this out, you'll see background copy. So what you want to do is, uh, after you made your background copies, come over here to your Magic Wand tool, and where their black, where the black is, you just want to click on top of the black. Okay. Once the black has been clicked, then what you want to do is just press delete. Well, you probably want to like hide the background layer first, then push delete. But once once you push delete, you uh cleared away all the background there's no black left in here so what you want to do now is just uh, go to control go, go to control shift and I and what that does is it, it, it inverses your selection so instead of your selection being on the outside it's now on the inside so now we can like get another layer out and we can fill this layer with white make sure your white swatch is on top of the black and then push alt backspace and now there you have it everything's filled in white so now what you want to do is is push control D and add and uh, you got this too and add yourself another uh, another layer a new layer then you want to take your lasso tool and you want to trace over right where the knee is right around the corner this little upper area right here basically the area that I'm going to uh, the area I am going to be masking out I want to turn it black so I will lasso this area and what I do is uh, I uh, get my move tool out and then I push uh, the arrow key now make sure you get the move tool push the arrow key and then push it up once and then push it down once so what it does is the, the little dancing ants will just like the selection will the, the selection not dancing ants that's bad I hate calling it dancing ants the selection will like fit itself perfectly around the shape here 
and then what you do is uh you go over to you go up here to your uh to your uh clean layer who has nothing on it and then what you want to do is push X and as you can see the swatch switches position just push X and then push alt backspace then push control D and now that whole area is blacking out and it's ready to go into your opacity layer and you just do the same thing over here for this one and luckily I've already done this so what you want to do is you want to do what I just said over here for this leg um, be careful where you know you well it's your masking out and and uh, you know just follow the procedure then go to file save as a JPEG and then just push save and then go open up I clone again and what you want to do is uh is uh, mm, 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 mm. go to your opacity channel again and just double click it scroll until you see your uh, the opacity mask curious here's the opacity mask we made nope that's not the one uh, where is it there, no, there it is there's the opacity mask that we made and we just click on that and give it a second to load up as you can see it's gone <laughs> the uh, hole in our leg is gone all it took a few all we did was take a few seconds and just mask it all mask it all out and that's all we needed and uh, you probably wanna go down here to her specular channel and just move that down and move this up to about 40 pull this over there okay so now now when she jumps down her uh, knee isn't uh isn't all jacked up, you know, coming through her clothes. So, I hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. And uh, this is One Gun Shun, and I'm uh, signing off.